hard. <laughs> what, what was that? What did you see there? And just what was your own reaction to that? I mean, I was a bit lucky, you know. Uh, the ball find me somehow. You know, I just shot it. I knew it was two seconds on the floor, and hopefully it went in. So, I mean, it went in. So that's it, you know, just a little bit lucky, but we'll take it. Who were you shushing? I, don't know. I, I wanted a celebration. I don't know why I did that, honestly. <laughs> I didn't know what to do, so. <laughs> I don't know. I didn't search. I, I'm not going to search our friends, so I don't know what I was doing, honestly. Jason said he, he asked you if you wanted to start the fourth quarter, which you obviously haven't done much this season. I'm guessing that wasn't a, a hard decision for you. No, that's easy. Easy decision for me. Uh, you know, we were kind of struggling in the third quarter, so it was easy for me. Jason was talking about, you know, a few, or I guess last week about, you know, you looking a little bit tired. I think you said that as well. Are you planning to play tomorrow? Do you know? Uh, we'll see about that, you know. I think tomorrow uh, me and coach are going to decide about it. Uh, but, yeah, it's been a long time playing basketball. Uh, not a lot of break, but we'll see tomorrow. Are you feeling this clear at this point? I'm good, you know. Uh, after that two games back-to-back, -back, I was uh, – I mean, those two games, I was really tired. Uh, but, you know, now I feel great. I do more recovery every day, so that helps me. Yeah, obviously, for both Dorian and especially Reggie, it's been tough for them you know, getting, getting the three ball going. What's it feel like for you to see them have the kind of night that they did, especially for Reggie to, you know, the, the fourth quarter that he did? It's amazing, man. I'm, I was so happy to him. You know, a lot of people... Uh, Put a lot of pressure on Reggie, you know, talking about he can't make a shot. But the thing he does on the court for us, don't show up in statistics a lot. Uh, but today he showed up that he's he's a great, great player, you know. And a lot of times not going to show in statistics uh, the way he defends and Dota, obviously, too. Uh, but they're, they're key players to us, for sure. One more question about just being tired. Uh, is there any mental fatigue that comes from just how many defenses you're seeing on a nightly basis with teams switching it up, box and ones, you know, zones, doubles? Uh, no, I probably mentally solve the court, so I don't have nothing to do with basketball. I just enjoy playing basketball. Did you get any explanation or sense of the technical foul and, and what went on? No, no, I deserve that one. I agree. <laughs> yeah. I talked to Curtis after he called it, and we agree. Yeah, I, I deserve that one. Look, this is a little bit off topic, but have you been paying attention to the changes that have been going on on Twitter at all? Changes? Yeah, with Elon Musk taking over, and I guess the answer is no. No, not at all. I play chess on my phone, so. A win. a win is a win, but this was a tough win tonight. What do you take away from it, part one, and then what do you do to encourage the team for tomorrow's game? I think we got to learn, especially the third quarter. You know, we, we've we been blowing leads. We know for that, though. we got to learn how not to blow leads, you know, play the same way. But overtake is our first half, you know. They scored uh, 32 points, something like that. That was amazing, you know. That not a lot of times you see it on NBA game, in NBA game. So I think I'll take that one from do you win or does the phone and computer win? Chess. No, I play online, but I win mostly. Of course. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, that surprises nobody that <laughs> everything Luca's doing, he is winning. And he is always winning, it feels like, against the Clippers. Look at these numbers, the last three. The average just went up. It's now at 43 a game. The field goal percentage, I mean, he just dominates. Why is he able to do this, Devin, again? And give uh, the Clippers credit. They they came out in that second half and put a lot of pressure on us. But I thought the group handled the situation um, with grace in the sense of things just weren't going our way, but we didn't, like, self-destruct. We just stayed together and uh, found a way. Reggie makes some big shots. There's a lot of trust, especially with the way Reggie has been shooting the ball of late. Um, and then Doe, you know, seven threes. I don't know if that's the most he's ever shot, 13. So we got to get him more shots. Um, someone told me our record when Doe scores uh, 10 or more points is pretty impressive. So we got to put a little bit more pressure on Doe to score 10 points or more. But again, Lucas steps up and makes a big shot for us. Um, tomorrow we're going to need our bench. We can't just rely on C. Wood to, to carry the bench um, with the 15 points. But the nice thing is we got a nice win at home and we got another one tomorrow. 
some quick turnaround tomorrow. Are you worried about uh, being with you at 41 minutes, Luke basically at 40 on the first half of back to back? Uh, no, not worried. Um, so those guys uh, are well conditioned and uh, understand uh, what's at stake um, in this game. You know, we put ourselves in a position to win it, and we can only focus on that. And, and tomorrow we'll figure out who's playing and who's not. Um, obviously, you guys have a little, as you mentioned, hanging on to the lead. Is there a common theme you see there? Is there you know, it's easy to say this is what we need to fix. Uh, what is it? What's your kind of primary concern in this situation? Yeah, I think just um, understanding it's hard to play with the lead in this league, especially with the way everybody shoots threes and how many attempts are. And if you start to uh, have turnovers, that first half we, we played pretty good defense, um, 15 and 17 points knowing that that group is a veteran group and that they were going to come out in the second half. Um, but we got good looks there in that third quarter. We just didn't make them. We had some good looks and layups. We had, you know, wide open threes. And sometimes when you don't score, you're going to have to play a little defense. But we didn't. Um, we gave up the big lead. And uh, I thought our, our body language was, in a, was a lot better than it had been in the past of just being frustrated of giving up big leads. Um, we stayed with it and found a way to win. Jason, I'm sorry you don't exist, but for Reggie, so big in the fourth quarter, what does it take to have that kind of performance after he's been in the past few games and obviously not 100% this night? Yeah, I think it's just character. You talk about Reggie and who he is as a person. Uh, he's a competitor. Um, everyone knows that he's maybe he's not shooting up to par, but it's this is a marathon. And sometimes when you start the marathon, you might start off not on pace. Um, but at some point, you still have December, January, February, March, April, May, and June. And for the critics, you know, that's, that's hard to, to, to do. And for the people who criticize him, you know, I would love to see them participate and try to do that. It's not easy. You know, they're human. And uh, I think it just shows a lot of trust in his teammates to still throw him the ball because he is open and he's a pro. And uh, he never makes any excuse for anybody. But um, just that's who Reggie is. He stepped up um, the other night and made a big shot for us to win. And tonight he made a couple big shots. Um, but he won't talk about the shots he made. He will talk about maybe the free throw he missed, you know, to, to seal the game. But he's always cheered for his teammates. If Josh is playing well, he's the first one off the bench to cheer for his teammates. And that's what makes him special. You played Luca and it didn't start in the fourth quarter, uh, 41 minutes, I think. Uh, nope, under 40. Under 40? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> that's not your big man. That's 17 seconds under. That's 17 uh, so, seconds that we can save. We banked. Yeah, yeah. 40, 41 minutes for, for January. Uh, what, what was the thinking for a little bit of extended minutes for both of the lead, both of the lead guards? Well, um, we, we're not um, built you know, yet in the sense of we only have two ball handlers. So, um, and with the way that they play, they switch everything in their length. And so you, you have to have multiple ball handlers on there to have any success. And, and we, we literally had just Spencer and C. Wood out there and we, we couldn't throw it in the ocean. Um, but we had to, you know, um, give Luca a break at some point and we did. And, um, and so at that point we talked, we, the communication, with him, you know, to start the fourth, I asked him, did he want to start? Because things weren't, didn't go well for us, and we wanted to get off to a good start. And, and he did that. And he, he is, uh, he's playing well. But Spencer also put us in a position to win this game. He has some great looks uh, at the rim that he missed that he normally makes. But, again, being able to find guys, uh, Doe, as we mentioned earlier, seven made threes. Um, and then on the defensive end, Doe playing PG, um, I thought was big. And then he doesn't get a lot of credit. Um, hopefully you guys start noticing in his defense and and hopefully he can get on that ballot of all defensive team because he does it for us every night a lot of teams are switching and, and like you said you know it really helps to have multiple ball players out there you know with only two of them what is the longer term plan of, of not having to play them you know both of them as, as much as you did tonight uh, get in shape 
um, maybe I can maybe I can help. Um, no, it's you know Frank Capazzo, um, other guys are going to have to step up. The marathon is too long to to put this type of pressure on those two. Do you guys need to find another ball handler, perhaps elsewhere? Um, I, I, I can do it. Um, uh, no, it's not. We got, yeah, yeah, uh, more like fifteen. Um, let's.